What is going on guys welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today I'm going to discuss with you guys what in my opinion is the best way of reaching that top rank now I've seen so many prep videos from other content creators basically giving you guys advanced guides and how you can reach top rank fast and what you should do but most of these videos people are based on old systems of doing this it's different now and what they're giving you guys is false information but before we get into it and check that out guys I have five destined to complete collection codes to give away to be with a chance of winning one simply make sure you are sub to the channel drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below I will pick winners over the coming weeks and DM you via YouTube so good luck to everybody who enters if that doesn't bother you and you already have the DLC if you would like to show your support to me and the channel hit the like button and the video really does help out and I do appreciate it okay so these videos I've been seeing demonstrate past ways in how you can level up and maximize your game and actually reach that top level that being a level 50 and reaching the power cap of 500 before the grind actually really starts but guys it's actually different now these old systems of leveling up they ain't the same in Forsaken it's way different for instance I've seen people say if you have Crucible, Gunsmith and Vanguard tokens you shouldn't use these until you reach the power cap of 500 because these will help you progress higher that's actually wrong they don't they're capped around your level. I've also seen people say you should hold off playing the campaign until you reach a rank 50 and the power level 500. That's completely wrong also. I mean people say hold off and do public events, lost sectors and so forth. Get a higher level then do the campaign because then your power level will rise because the drops at the end will be higher. That's actually not true people. And to prove this guys, as you can see on screen now, and all I have done is go through the campaign. I am a power level 500 and a rank 50. I haven't even opened the Dreaming City yet. I've still got all of that to do. And I'm already a level 50 and a power level 500. And I've just done the campaign. I haven't done public events. I haven't held off. I've just done the campaign. Because what happens is you progress towards this level just through doing missions and having blues drop. You don't have to hold off doing anything and do other means to level up. People think there are campaign drops that drop around your specific level. Ones like the Vestian Dynasty from Petra. That's actually false. This thing will drop at a 500 no matter your level. The item is locked at that level. No higher, no lower. So it doesn't matter your level when you get to this stage, it will always be a 500. And this is no doubt for any other weapon you are rewarded for doing a campaign. So you don't have to hold off. And honestly guys, if you ain't near a 500 and a level 50 at this stage, which I guarantee you should be, your drops from here on forward will be around that 500 power level. And that's before you even open up the Dreaming City, like me. Also the wanted bounties from Spider, these do drop gear which will help you reach that 500 power level if you ain't there yet. So get some of these done. I'm a 500 at this stage and I haven't opened all these means of powerful gear like the Crucible and Strike Challenges, Gambit, the ones from Spider, the daily buff from the Cryptarch which gives you one prime engram daily. And that's without going to the Dreaming City and doing the Blind Wild Petra bounties. These also offer you powerful gear. These are all things I still can do which all help me head towards that 600 power level. Another thing to add, people also state you should stack powerful engram rewards because these are the true things which really did allow you to raise over that 500 power cap. To a degree this is right, but it doesn't matter what level you are guys, powerful engrams will always drop above 500 power level. I opened one near the start of the D2 Forsaken campaign and was rewarded the last dance. It dropped a 5 or 3, but at the current time my power level is 393. So it seems powerful gear rewards will always drop above 500 but in saying that saving as many as you can until you reach 500 is definitely the right thing to do. So we know once 500 power is reached there are certain places in which you can use to level up prime engrams and powerful gear rewards are these things. So this is my take on the matter. It could be the best advice you've ever heard or it could be completely wrong but it's working for me. Play the campaign, get to that rank 50 and as high a power level as you can which should be around a 500 power level because that is the drop cap 
and you will do this most probably before you even open up the Dreaming City, not touching any of your powerful gear rewards. A lot of these rewards will actually become available when you actually reach a level 50 anyway. So once a level 50 is reached, you should then go on to doing all these challenges for this powerful gear. That means strikes and nightfall, crucible, gambit and so forth. And what other ways you can to get that powerful gear. As this is the only way to actually progress higher once you have reached the power level 500. So get them out of the way. Then go on to the Dreaming City. Within the Dreaming City there are more means of getting those extra levels. Petra's Blind Well Bounties. The Daily Rahul buff also gives you one Prime Engram a day. And whatever other means there are. Now I actually didn't intend in actually doing a video talking about this until I actually watched a video from a fellow content creator last night, bless his kind of socks, he thought he was giving you guys correct information in stating to hold off on the campaign until you're a level 50 and a power level 500, that is just making you guys completely waste your time indeed. So a quick summary of what I believe you guys should be doing. First, get through the campaign until you reach the Dreaming City's first stages and get to that rank 50 and a power level 500. Once you actually reach a level 50, many other means open up uh, in regards for you to actually obtain this powerful gear. You should then do all means possible in obtaining this powerful gear. That means crucible strikes, gambit and whatever other bounties you have lying around or picked up from various vendors. Then go on to the Dreaming City, doing what you need to complete whatever is available here because although I won't spoil it, there is so much more to do here and you need to be a higher level to even survive on this place, it's ridiculous. Again, Petra's Daily Bounties, the Daily Prime Engram and more. These should help you reach that top rank as high as possible. I mean, if you do a little research, there's not many people out there now who are higher than like a 515. I mean, I've still got all of this to do and at the current stages of the recording this video, I'm a 503 and I haven't touched any are these powerful gear rewards so will i get there will i not i'm not sure another thing i will add a fellow friend of mine was helping me through my remaining campaign missions and the adventures within the tangled shore he's already a 510 power level but he was getting blues drop at his level now for me blues are capped at 500 i'm not sure what stages you reach for 510 blues to drop we haven't figured that out yet but just try it people if you've got a pal who hasn't completed the campaign yet still has adventures to do on the tangled shore help him out and see what rewards you get we may just have cracked a cord here but who knows but guys on that note i am as just a quick video giving you guys my opinion on the best means in getting to that top rank as quick as possible don't hold off on doing the campaign that's probably the worst advice i've heard so far and before we log out people every month i'm giving away a fully customizable controller for xbox playstation sent anywhere in the world to be in with a chance of winning simply drop a like on the video leave a comment down below make sure you are subbed and follow the gleam link at the top of the video description it's fast simple and legit guys but on that note i am out thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully i will see you on that next one always in the